All right, here we are with another Mega Man Maker gameplay through Mega Man Fierce Battle Bots 3. I guess the game is, yeah, yeah, you know, this is the third in the series here. And the first stage is Matrix Man, and yeah, it's a forum posted level posted by Heavy Elite. And yeah, I wanted to play through this entire game on camera here. Um, it's a very nice series all in all, especially the Wily stages. And there's also a set of rooms for how you should play the level, um, which I will go over briefly here. Here we have all the power-ups. Um, we may not pick them up right now. You get them as you beat them. Like, once we beat the first boss, we get the flash stopper here. And once we beat the second boss, um, I believe we get this weapon. I, I can't recall its name. And so on and so forth. And, you know, we will unlock weapons. Yeah. And, yeah, from the third boss, I believe we get the shame ball there. But, yeah. Here. Rush, coil and rush yet. Uh, pretty much like in the original Mega Man games. Like... Uh, you, you get them at certain points, although here it works a little bit differently, like once we have beaten four stages We get to pick up rush coil and once we have beaten, beaten uh, six stages we, we get to pick up uh, the rush jet there. Yes, oh yeah And here is the E tank and M tank room. Um, let's say if we get two E tanks in this stage here We get to pick them up uh, in the next stage, you know, so that we get to keep all the E tanks throughout the whole series um, but since I have zero right now, this room, yeah, uh, I may not pick up any. Um, I guess really there might as well not have been any tanks here in the first stage, uh, unless for people who want to cheat. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, and we have Proto Man and Bass here. Um, Heavy Elite recommended that you pick one of them. Uh, I believe that some of the future bosses are balanced around them and not around Mega Man. I know Proto Man's shield could have come in handy many times for me, you know, especially in the wild stages, but yeah, I I want to play as Mega Man here, because I assume it will make things a little bit more uh, hard, a little bit more interesting. Mm -hmm. And yeah, probably not... Jeez, I forgot about him, yeah. You actually need to come down there with the Ring Boomerang. Um, if you don't, that chill attacker will get you. No. That's not that great of a design decision, I don't think. Like, if you know he's there, you know, you can just bring out the ring boomerang and get him, you know, before he can get you. But yeah, typically, I'd say you want to avoid having shield attackers coming at you straight down like that. That's just a little bit unfair, but yeah, whatever. This here puzzle, though, is really cool. I really love all the... Um, Disappearing block puzzles that Heavy Elite have provided uh, us with here. Like, yeah, you will see. Uh, there is one or two. Heck. Whoa. <laughs> there is one or two more really cool ones. Actually, three more. <laughs> I recall one more now. Uh, but yeah, there are some really cool disappearing block puzzles here in this stage. Um, whoa! The health globe <laughs> screwed me over there. Uh, yeah. Okay, you know what? I'll just cut back there. All right, okay, we're back. So, where were we? <laughs> yeah, um, this section here is quite, quite tricky as well. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, the ring boomerang is a very good weapon choice to start out here. Um, you know, for one, you actually can deal very well with the shield attackers with the ring boomerang, and it's also very nice for taking out the, you know. Point ton enemies there. <laughs> but yeah, for this guy, we definitely want to use the Mega Man 5 charge buster here. And I believe um, in the later levels, we only have. Oh my god. In the later levels, we only have the Mega Man 6 charge buster, and we start off with the Mega Man 5 one here. So yeah, we, if, I, if I remember correctly, that is. So if that is the case, we will be downgraded at some point along the line there. Okay, and here we have the foot holder room. Um, I'm not too big a fan of this here. Um, uh, okay, that, yeah, no, that was my bad. I should not have gone there. I, 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 uh, I have definitely made it through that room without taking damage. Um, this one here, however, is a little bit <laughs> more cluttered, and yeah, it feels a little bit. Yeah, to me, it feels like it's a little bit much there, but yeah, whatever. Whatever. This room here, yeah, I really like this. This here looks very cool and trippy. Like some of the later levels in Heavy Elite's pack here are really cool looking, like from a visual viewpoint. 
and you'll see what I mean once you get there. Um, like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Alright, then we just wait here. I almost died there, Jesus. Okay, yeah, we have some hard platforming up here, so I'll try and shut Shut up. Oh my god, Jesus. Man, this has been a disaster. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, okay. See you in a second. Alright, we're back here again. No, this time I'll just shut up because the next few screens here. Whoa, okay, yeah. If you just have a charge shot there, you'll be fine, but yeah. Uh, I screwed up. But yeah, I'll just shut up and focus a little bit here. Ooh, okay, very cool, very cool. Yeah, generally a good idea throughout all of Heavy Lead Stadium series to always, you know, try and keep your charge shot, you know, fully charged just so that you can get rid of quickly appearing enemies because he will definitely test your reflexes. Uh, <laughs> he definitely will. This is not an easy game by any means. And yeah, this here is one of the coolest room. Well, probably this is the coolest room in this entire stage. Um, I really like how you have to think here, like, see, this here is the solution, and then you would just, you know, fall down on the red one and climb up. Um, and yeah, I'm going to take a hit here, but that's fine. I just wanna showcase it, how it can go wrong, for example. Like, if you come in and, you know, just walk like this here, you could still make the jump, but yeah, it's very, very tricky, and yeah, definitely not the <laughs> best way to handle things there. And yeah, there are... Probably more combination. Yeah, if you go for the blue, green, yellow, uh, no wait, blue, red, yellow. Oh wait, you can also do this. Dude, I'm stupid. Oh my god, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm gonna try it again. Let's see if there are more ways that we can screw it up. Blue, red. Huh. Blue, red. Okay. Yeah, I guess you can do it like this too. Yeah, look, there are a few different ways that you can do that. Um, but yeah, once again, a really cool room there. Um, you know, nothing too hard, but still, you know, it's just a very nice, cool puzzle there that makes the player feel good about him or herself there. I really like it. And yeah, I definitely want to grab the E-Tanks uh, throughout this game because, as I explained earlier, we get to keep them, you know, as many East Tank as I collect here, I actually get to keep for the next stage, so yeah. And believe you me, the final bosses of the stage, like they are, yeah, they are very tricky. <laughs> you definitely need to be prepared for them, because they're going to kill you otherwise. <laughs> Whoa, okay, yeah, that was good of me. Let's see here. Let me just try that again. Yeah, see, like that. Uh, if you just kill them quickly, you'll be golden, basically. <laughs> and I'm almost dead. Um, oh yeah, this here. Okay, I'll just shut up here. Okay, be careful not to touch the green spikes here. Um, if you damage boost on top of them with invulnerability frames, you'll screw yourself up at this point here. You won't be able to finish the stage, basically. But yeah. Let's see, let's just wait here. Whoa! Oh my god, yeah, look at that! Look at that, that, that is so cool, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I failed there. I failed, I failed. Okay. Let me just cut back. Oh yeah, and also here when you spawn in, in the checkpoint here. Um, I feel like <laughs> enemies are a little bit too close up here. Not that it's a big deal, but it's something to think about. But yeah, I'll just cut back. Okay, we're back here again. Let's just focus, 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 focus. Whoa, oh my god, you can actually land there. 
Oh no. Oh my god, I don't know if I'm screwed now. I guess we'll see. Nope, we're fine. Very cool, very cool. And yeah, this here, the finishing here, or the, yeah, the last stretch is not too bad. We're almost at the goal now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> better not let the your nerves get the better of you there. It's very easy to <laughs> die there, I guess. Okay, and I have one E tank. I would like not to lose it here. But yeah, um, this guy isn't too hard. Um, just yeah. Now we can just no. Okay. Now we can like yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm just going to focus here. Whoa! Oh shoot, I did not expect him to shoot already there. Whoa. Oh my god, am I going to die here? I really don't want to wipe against him. Shite. Nice, okay, I almost... Yeah, <laughs> he almost got me there. Dude, I, I really did not want to die on him. Really did not. But yeah, let me just check the rule book here. <laughs> let me check the rule book, just so that I know I'm right here. Um, the first boss, Matrix Man, will give us Flash Stopper. Matrix Anomaly, it's called. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I wanted this stage up. It's a really cool stage. Just a few things that I don't necessarily like about it, but you know, all in all, a really solid level. Like, very, very cool stuff, very cool stuff. So let's see here. The next stage will be Gear Man. Yeah, so now we will have the flash stopper here, and yeah, we will keep we will get to keep one E tank as well. Yeah. All right, here we are. Um, the second stage, we get to pick up the flash stopper, and yeah, nothing else besides the one E tank in here. There, there we go. And as I said earlier, um, I'll try and save up. As many E tanks as I can, because believe you me, it will be necessary. Yeah, this stage here is pretty cool as well. Um, it has some quite dangerous uh, use with the spinning wheels here up ahead. Not necessarily just yet, but yeah, <laughs> it will get much more dangerous. Yeah, these guys they change the conveyor belts. The, yeah, the way that the conveyor belts go, I should say. Right. Um. Whoa, there you go. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, okay, that was, yeah, very close. And yeah, one more thing here that I usually myself try to avoid, like... Like, if the player just comes up, climbs here and, you know, go to the right uh, very quickly, they will just walk into the chain there. I mean, I guess it's their fault, but still. Yeah. Just whatever, you know. <laughs> Just something that could be worth thinking about, but yeah. You might already know about that and just still wanted to go with that, so yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're definitely going to take the top path here. Usually, with the heavy lead stages here, you want to take the... Um, the more dangerous path, like, and you will usually be rewarded with an E tank or M tank in the end. This room here is quite finicky. Like, you see that uh, chain ball there? You need to be... Yeah, you see that? You need to go the whole way around. Like, if you just skip from one... If you skip from one spinning wheel to the other one, you like the... Let me, let me just use the mouse pointer here. Like, if you come on this one here and jump from this one directly to the third one, then you will be on a bad cycle and you will always pretty much get hit here. So, yeah, you need to make sure that you ride the whole way through there. Just something that's worth it, uh, pointing out there, I think.
And yeah, I really like the visions of this stage too. It looks very chaotic, but still, I like it. You know, the cogwheels in the background and the spinning wheels here, you know, that we're jumping around on. Uh, yeah, you know. Whoa, okay. Jesus, okay. Wow, dude, I can't do that for the, for the life of me. <laughs> Well, okay, my bad, my bad. Yeah, I'm taking some sloppy hits here now. Um. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Actually, the third stage will have some. Pretty cool lift use uh, usage as well, um, but that bomb will <laughs> involve yellow laser and red laser action there. But yeah, we'll get to that, or we'll bring that up again when we'll get to it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, this section here isn't too bad. Um, as you can see here, some of the enemies don't spawn in properly here. Um, yeah. Alright, another pretty cool looking screen here, and we're definitely going to go for that E-Tank. Just going to shoot up this clown guy here first. Dang it! There we go, that's how you're supposed to do it. Woo! Wow! <laughs> I shot him too late, okay. Oh, nice. Uh, three tanks. Very, very good. Um, yeah. On my first playthrough, I actually used some of the E tanks, you know, in the normal stages. I'll try my best not to do that here. Um, oh, yeah, and I also remember on my first playthrough when I got here, like, I had literally one pixel of health left when I got to that uh, one up. It was a very welcome health pick up there. Same here, like, you can't just go off on the first cycle there, you actually have to, you know, sit and wait here, which definitely is fine, you know. The game rewards uh, some patience there over going too fast. Very nice. And yeah, we're up to, yeah, around 20 minutes now, pretty much. Um, I'll probably do a third stage in this video. Um, I'll keep it pretty lengthy, but yeah. I don't want them to be too long either. <laughs> oh yeah, and actually we, we are already on the Mega Man 6 buster here, as you can see. Uh, funny how I didn't notice, <laughs> notice that until now. Dang it. <laughs> I'm getting my ass handed to me by Metal Man, what the hell? Yeah, he's doing a lot of those really nasty high jumps, I don't like that. I don't need the, the middle jumps. Yeah. Those ones is what I need, but a little bit tired. There. Yeah, he's actually quite easy to read when he jumps. You know, just a little bit up, he just shoot one uh, metal blade. When he jumps up to that fight, he'll shoot two. Now he'll shoot three, so yeah. But I just suck at dodging. But yeah, he's quite telegraphed in his pattern. So yeah, we got him. We got him. The next man, the next man will be Shane Man. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'll just cut on through the loading here. All right. Okay, okay, so let me just refresh myself on the rules here. I should have done this while it was loading, but still. Um, Matrix Man, <laughs> Matrix Man, Matrix Man gives Flash Stopper. Shane Man gives Night Coil. Let's see, Gear Man. Yeah, Screw Crusher. Okay. Screw Crusher. This is Screw Crusher, yeah. And yeah, the Screw Crusher is a really good weapon. I used it plenty of times um, during my first playthrough. Like, yeah. It has that weird upgoing arc, but through many of Heavy Elite stages here, you know, it will come in handy 
it definitely will come in handy in a lot of cases. But yeah, this stage, um, yeah, it starts out fairly easy and it has some cool gimmick usage, but I feel like it gets a little bit on the tedious side, <laughs> almost, but you'll see what I mean. It's, it's definitely neat, but I think there could be done more with it. And yeah, here, do not jump down here while that's down there. Um, you'll get hurt when you enter the screen on the bottom. Just going to wait here. Yeah, you see, once again, um, in heavy lead stages, try and always keep your shots all charged up. Um, it will definitely pay off. And yeah, see here, this is a very nice introduction of the upcoming gimmick here with the lifts. So, yeah, just put them in the way there and, or put the lift in the way of the lasers and, you know, you'll be good to go. Now, you gotta put that into practice in this room here. Now, this room <laughs> goes on for a very long time, like, well, maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm just overdoing it a little bit saying it like that, but you know, it goes on for quite a long time, and like, the first few times, you know, that you do this, it's actually really cool and neat, but it very quickly gets <laughs> a bit repetitive here, and we will actually have another one of these segments later on in the stage, just that it will be with red lasers instead with the uh, yeah instead of the yellow ones and yeah it's pretty much the same setups and it just gets a little yeah once again it gets repetitive i wish that even though this is a cool cool way of handling it i wish that more would have been done with it basically i also have to give the uh, heavy elite credit here though for adding all of these ladders here so that you can't get stuck here, it's a very nice... You know, it's, it definitely has been cheese-proofed. Uh, I definitely have to give him credit for that, but like, yeah, see, it's just the same thing <laughs> over and over here. It's, yeah. Alright, I'll just leave it at that. So yeah, I'm just going to... Whoa! Oh, man. Okay, I hope that doesn't despawn when I go over here. Okay, yeah, good, good, it doesn't... But yeah, uh, as I was supposed, as I was supposed to, as I was uh, about to say there, um, if I die in one of these segments, I'll just cut it out because yeah, it's going to take up so much radio time um, to do these over and over again. Um, I'm not too worried about dying in here on, you know, the yellow beam path. Heck, I'm not even all that worried about the red beam path either. But yeah, just saying, you know, in case I do die. But yeah, even when I play this blind, uh, I only died once uh, in these elevator sections there, so yeah, they aren't too bad, like, difficulty device. Very creative, but there could have been a little bit more done with them, I feel like. And yeah, I know I'm sounding <laughs> a little bit harsher, uh, but yeah. Oh yeah, this part here. Um, gotta be very careful here. Many crushers. Yeah, and all these chain bolts here. Ooh, and yeah, <laughs> this area is very reminiscent of Mega Man 2, you know, in the Wily Castle there. But yeah, you're definitely gonna have to take your time here. Heck, I'm even going to do this because, yeah, that section there is... <laughs> it's very easy to get hurt. Very, very easy. You can definitely do it buster only, but yeah, I'm going to boost out and, yeah, do it the cheap way there. <laughs> Yeah, here is an excellent way to use this weapon here. Like, I feel like all weapons are very useful in this game here. Like, Heavy Lit shows some very well. Yeah, he shows his weapon very well, I think. Like, they all have their uses in throughout the game, basically. And yeah, this weapon here, like, it deals decent damage and... Yeah, it takes care of enemies that you normally could not kill there. Yeah, he's the ring boomerang only <laughs> needs five shots to take out those sledgehammer guys there. Okay, this stage also... Whoa, okay. I yeah, was not confident in that jump. But yeah, um, 
this stage is also quite long in comparison to the two first ones, I believe. Like, maybe that's probably because, you know, we have those long gimmick sessions that drag on for a bit. And yeah, see here, that's another very nice use of this weapon here. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Don't die here now. Okay, well... I believe now... Okay, not quite yet, but soon we will have the red laser section. Okay, let's just break this down. Wow, dude, that was... <laughs> I almost missed that. Oh yeah, and here, like, this here is another pet peeve of mine, like, uh, having ceilings hidden like this um, can unfairly kill, you know, the player. Um, Let's try to always avoid that. And yeah, here we have two of these guys stacked on each other. And um, yeah, it's a very nice thing to have the ring boomerang for them too, so that you can just hit them both at the same time there, basically. And yeah, here we have the aforementioned <laughs> red laser segment. Um, here I'm going to have to be very careful not to do anything wrong. Yeah, because it's very finicky and yeah. If you die, there is quite a bit of stuff that you need to redo. And yeah, so don't screw up, basically. <laughs> you screw up, and you have to replay a lot. Ooh. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, see, once again, like, he provided us with many ladders, so... I have never noticed that you could get stuck in here or anything like that, so... Uh, a little bit more. There we go. Now we should be fine. Eh. But yeah, you see what I mean, like... It's a very cool gimmick. It really is. Uh, and I have never seen anyone do anything like this before. Uh, but it overstays its welcome just a tad bit. <laughs> No, 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 that's not, not good, not good. We need more than that. <laughs> Wait, let's just get some momentum. Okay, that will do it. And I think we're creeping up on the end here. At least I hope so. Oh my god, dude, I do not like that. <laughs> Let's not risk it. Uh, want a little bit more to step on there. Oh, any time now. Any time now. Oh my god, do not die now, for the love of Christ. And have I screwed myself? Uh, I don't think I have, but I'm going to need to save this. Yeah, this is going to be hard, but it is salvageable. Uh, salvageable. <laughs> it, it can be recovered. I just need to do this perfectly. Hmm, that's not quite enough. I need a little bit more to the side there. Okay, nice. So, yeah, you can definitely use the flash stopper there to, you know, to great effect to help if you, you know, I suspected it, it might have, you know, go, gone over a little bit too much to the right there, so I just used the flash stopper to stop the lift, so, yeah, I could save the situation there. Whew, but yeah, very, very time consuming, and yeah, very cool, but very time consuming. I wish it was a little bit shorter, that's about it. Okay. 
And yeah, you can make Nightman land on his shots there, uh, which is quite quite silly that it works like that, but yeah. <laughs> it's a nice trick, it's a nice trick. Alright, so that's the first three stages. How many E-Tanks did I have there? Shoot, I forgot to check. Did I get the fourth one? Oh crap. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look back over the footage and see if I got a fourth one. Okay, but yeah, I'll just make this the last stage for this video here, um, and we will tackle another three stages in the next video there, so... Yeah, like, so far, uh, pretty nice game, um, and it will keep getting even better and better towards the end, is my opinion here, in my opinion. Um, the first stage, pretty cool, you know, nice sweet shells, had some cool gimmick usage with the disappearing blocks and the yoki blocks, it was very, very creative and fun to play. The second stage with Gearman, you know, some nice spinning platforms and you know you had to be patient at some points you know so that you basically wouldn't go too quick and you know run into shame balls or whatever and you know here on, in the third stage you know we had more shame balls and crushers and yeah the gimmicks with the lifts there which was very cool but i think it overstayed its welcome just a tiny but yeah overall like a really fun series of stages here to go through um so yeah i'll just end this video here and i'll see you in the next part